So we all know that cases are, you know, a necessity to having a computer. As you can see, my lovely build back here, my main prop build, has a lovely case on it. And so does this one, but it's just sitting down here instead of ha housing all this stuff. But the big question I wanted to answer today was, is it possible and is it practical to go ahead and build a computer without a case? Now, first of all, I do want to make out a couple points. Number one, I would say don't go home and try this. Uh, especially on your main build, don't go on your parents' computer and do this as well. This is pretty much a testing kind of setup I've got here. Got some old parts, and this is more for me to figure out if it's practical than willing to risk my lovely, expensive computer over here that uh, I like very much. This one, on the other hand, is probably I'd say a, a very, a, probably a mid three hundred dollar build that you could probably get that I got for seventy five bucks. I might make that video later. But pretty much to go through, we're going to find out, we're going to do a couple tests on it, we're going to see how well it performs without a case. Obviously the last video I did, which I'm not going to say, it's doing pretty amazing, uh, I released it two hours ago and it's got like 300 views on it, is the LEGO PC case. And if you guys want to check that out, that actually cooled insanely well. Um, that's what everything was in. And don't worry, I saved that as well. It's actually sitting right behind here. I took it all apart, took everything out, and left it over there. So it's still there, and I'm planning on saving it and putting it in the Hall of Fame if it goes really viral. So that's what I'm going to do. But, so the big question is exactly how does this perform? So first of all, a couple things I had to do while setting this up is actually I had to go through and add a couple Lego pieces underneath it to get the graphics card to sit properly. Um, that was, you know, I don't know if that considers a case or not, but it was kind of important to get the graphics card sitting there firmly so we can actually benchmark and test it. The other thing is, this is a lot of open concept. I do have two fans pushing air through. Um, they're kind of set up in a weird kind of, I don't know, weird way, I guess. Um, they basically are just going through and sucking in air from up on the top and pushing it up the sides. The other thing I have is the various hard, I have the hard drive sitting out here. Completely isolated and it's actually keeping pretty cool, which is surprising. And then of course the power supply on the back, it really isn't doing too much and it's kind of really keeping cool, which is nice and such. So let's get into it, let's start benchmarking it and see what we get. So the first thing I want to do is, I want to start by running a benchmark. Now obviously this is going to be kind of important because right now the system's sitting back here and the fans are just chilling out. And I had to do a little bit of modification and stuff, but I really want to see how well this performs when it's on no case, when it's wide open and has a lot of airflow available. Now, you know, yes, cases actually are a pretty good job with channeling airflow, so it actually gets the right spot a lot better. But sometimes, cases actually, when they have a little bit more air, they actually cool better as well. We're going to find out, so currently the record on the last case was 70 degrees flat. And that's what we had in the Lego case. Now, obviously, in the case before that, we were around 80 degrees. So with the Lego case at around 70 degrees and a fully, um, you know, a full case, a real life case, I guess we will put it that way, is about 80 degrees. Let's see what this gets. Now, obviously, we're already up to 68 degrees, which does kind of say that it's kind of heating up and we're only about 57 seconds into this test so we'll see I'm gonna keep you posted and see what we go from there I'm actually gonna leave this running for a little bit and then we'll come back and see what we got from there but right now it's looking at yeah we just passed 71 right now so obviously the Lego case appears to be running a little bit hot or a little yeah it's just it's cranking up there so I'm gonna keep you guys posted we'll see you guys in a couple seconds so we're back this is about I don't know five minutes later ten minutes later something like that and it's pretty much stuck at around 83 degrees, which is what I'm going to consider it flat at. And um, for a stock cooler, that's probably around where it should be. But then again, we take into mind that the Lego one over there, the Lego case, was funneling air pretty well. And I guess I designed it pretty well, which I'm a little, a little happy about there myself. I actually did a good job making a case. Maybe I should design cases, guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But... I was really surprised to find out that it's not it wasn't the that the case was bad down there. It was actually the fact that it was just the stock or you know the cooler doing the best that it could was only eighty some degrees and that the Lego cooler actually cooled it much better, which I was really happy about. So that was a little bit interesting to find out. But um other thing is that the what was really surprising about getting this you know, case and seeing if it was logical or not, is that I guess it's logical, but I do think some cases it funnel air a little bit better than others. So I think it would be a lot more safer or a much more safer bet to go on the side of saying that, you know, 
you probably should have a case. Because the other thing is, I'm not taking into account the fact that you could bump some of these parts and make it snap. I have the graphics card pretty safely in there because it like is leaning on part of the motherboard, uh, the chipset. But so it's not going to pop out or break or something like that. But I'm a little bored, worried about the motherboard breaking because it's a little bent. So I do want to make sure I kind of get that out of there and stuff. But you see my point is it's not necessarily safe and protected. So I think the lesson from this is just to make sure you have a, basically a motherboard that's pretty much, you know, either pretty durable or you have some type of casing that just keeps it um you know funnels air really well i guess like the lego one did or you know you have a good case that i guess as i said funnels air through it but um let me know if you guys thought of this video down in the comments i'm a little curious to see what you guys think and of course let me know if you guys have any ideas on other videos you guys like to see because i know this the P lego pc there was a whole bunch of good ideas and i guess uh, everybody's liking them so as of course thank you all the subscribers that have been watching i've been seeing this amount of subscribers that are coming back to watch uh picking up so i appreciate it and of course, um, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.